All right, Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. All right, Yahweh is the name of the Most High. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. All right, and double honor to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, which taught me the truth of the scriptures. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel that's uh, laboring out there on the streets, risking their lives and freedom to do so. The Israelites are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians, all right? Um, and you have Israelites that are scattered all around the world, all right, dwelling amongst these other nations, which we refer to as the Israelite foreigners, all right? Shalom, my name is Kassad, and I just wanted to go into an article dealing with the latest news, okay? Uh, this article is from Newsweek.com. It is entitled... A former Al Qaeda, excuse me, Syria's new rulers are former Al Qaeda terrorists. Why is DC celebrating them? All right, because uh, the the uh, Syria Syria just uh, the old Syrian uh, government has just fell. All right, their former leader Assad stepped down. He resigned. All right, um, to avoid any further conflict with the rebels. Okay, and it's coming out that the new rulers are former Al Qaeda terrorists, man. Check that out. All right, and we know that Al Qaeda. All right, um, that was a uh, alleged group that was created by, you know, the powers that be. All right, you know the the, the U.S. the U.S. Gov. All right, uh, the Israeli Gov, so forth and so on. All right, that's why they all ecstatic. They're all uh, raving about Assad being taken down. All right, and they putting who they want to put in there. All right, I'm talking about the the, the big nose small hats, man. All right. So it says a former Al Qaeda commander has seized power in Damascus, bringing great jubilation and relief to Washington D.C. Regime changes who pinned for this day. Bashar al-Assad has fled ingloriously to Russia in the dead of the night without so much as, as making a statement to bid farewell. It's certainly interesting how quickly the, the profane ideological origins of militant groups can be ritualistically forgotten so long as the erstwhile extremists appear to align with U.S. geopolitical interests of which liberals in particular have styled themselves such passionate proponents in recent years for, among other reasons, to counter the perceived isolationism of Donald Trump. All right, so uh, no need to further continue on. You know, I don't want to make this lesson too long, but um, you can check this article out on uh, Newsweek.com, right? As you see, the, the, the title... As I stated in the beginning of this lesson, all right, um, yeah, uh, this is, this this is relevant. This is relevant. Uh, this was a relevant inf uh, event that took place because, okay, um, doing my research and hearing what the different news media outlets, alternative news media outlets, had to say about it. That is, they you know they going into it, um. They're basically saying that these other these other countries round about are securing their borders and, uh, you know, um, basically um, gearing up for any type of invasion. You know, their military is preparing, you know, nations round about such as Iran, Syria, uh, Iran, Libya, Iraq, so forth and so on. OK. So yeah, um, this is definitely falls in the, under the category of World War Three. All right, World War Three news. All right, you know acts of war. All right, and this is the time that we in, and like I said, it's relevant because, you know, um, Syria and Iran, they were they were, they had they they had an alliance. All right, they were in league. So now that Syria Syria is being taken down, okay, 
what's next for, you know, those that took down Syria? Are they going to most likely try to go for the, the next threat, which is Iran? Okay? Which we already know the, the big no small hats. They already been poking poking a bear with Iran, you know, uh, messing with Iran, you know, killing their generals, killing their leaders, bombing their, you know, airstriking their territories. So we just got to wait and see what happens next, man. This is this is everything is falling into play according to the scriptures. All right. The scriptures talk about World War Three, a nuclear war. All right. So without further ado, I'll get a few precepts. All right. We'll start with Habakkuk chapter two and get straight to the point. It says, yea, also because he transgressed by one, and he is the Edomites, all right? The descendants of Esau, all right? And you, the descendants of Esau today are the so-called Caucasian race, all right? Now, the Caucasian race, they they, they are so-called Caucasian race, that is, all right? They stem, they call, you know, they go by many different identities, man, all right? They categorize, they categorize themselves in many different identities. All right. They call themselves uh so-called white people. They call them, you know, you even got some of the big nose small hats. They're nothing more than Edomites. They're not they're not the uh chosen people of the Bible. They're not the tribe of Judah, they're not the the real Jews. Okay. Um they're they're Edomites. All right. Um, and so forth and so on, man. So, uh, that's who was talking about the heat. All right. And he is the reason for all of these things that's taking place on the earth. All right. The scriptures say, all right. See, now the spirit is on me to bring out the next scripture, which is. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Now we know that the word the word Edom goes back to the Hebrew word Adawam, which means red. All right. And that's, that's, uh, you could link that to who? The Edomites. All right, so this is talking about the Edomites, all right, where the red horse is talking about Esau, Edom, the people that's in power today, okay, the powers that be today, okay, because they're the Edomites. Esau, the scripture says, Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, and the seventh verse, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. Right. This man was given power from the Most High pursuant to Daniel, the fourth chapter in the 17th verse. The Lord set up kings to rule. And the Most High, the scriptures say, you know, uh, the Most High have created all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of evil. Okay. So they're taking peace from the earth. Not only are they taking peace from the earth, the scriptures say, they're destroying the earth. Okay? Defiling the earth. So, it's talking about Esau. It says, and that they should get kill one another. Yeah, they're killing one another. Okay? It ain't just they want to kill you so-called Negroes because you're the, you're the Israelites. All right? It's the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans because you're the Israelites. You know, you you know they hate you, obviously, but you know they they killing everybody. They killing each other. Okay. You know, I remember a brother said, uh, not too long ago. I hear I remember hearing a brother say, uh, what he said. He said, um, <laughs> these Edomites, you know, the elites, they're poisoning the very same air that 
they got to breathe. Right? They're poisoning the very same food that they got to eat. <laughs> you know, and they're killing, they're not just killing, you know, other nations. They, they're killing their own people. And it was given unto him a great sword. Weapons of mass destruction. Intercontinental ballistic missile. Knowledge. The knowledge to the knowledge of nuclear fission. To make fire fall from heaven. No other man was able to do that. But you, these damn devils, man. All right. Now let's go back to what I was reading. Right, it says Habakkuk, the second chapter, the fifth verse. It says, Yeah, also because he transgressed about wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as depth, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Through process of elim elimination, who does that sound like, man? All right, none other than <laughs> the, the, you so called white people, man. All right. You got the U.S. military. They're they're uh, they have they have military bases all around the world, man. And who runs the the U.S. military? Edomites, so-called white people. All right. And we know that they have a they have the elites. They have they have the uh the 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 NWO agenda, man. Okay. They want to make everybody one under their rule, under their control. And they want the souls of men via having people take a, 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 a chip implant, a C-hip implant. Okay. So that was it on that. Um, yeah, I brought the scripture out because they, you know, they definitely had a hand in that downfall of uh, Bashar al-Assad. Okay. And they're not done yet. They still got a lot more work to do, man. We ending the year 2024. And man, was it a, a very uh, telling year, man. Telling year of, you know, the times that we in. Okay. So let me get one more scripture and then wrap this up. Now, this is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 5. It says, The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the troll said to be bountiful. Right, just talking about eat, eat them. Okay. They're being exposed on all fronts, man. Okay. Now, these mainstream media outlets and these, even alternative news media outlets, they're not going to kick it how we kicking it, all right, and just flat out say, yo, this man is the, this, this man is the cause of everything, this man is the devil, all right, but if you read in between the lines, you come down to the conclusion that it's, the reason that all these things is happening is because... The, the, the greedy the greedy the greed of those that the powers that be like the scripture say they have all their hearts could wish you know but yet they want more and more and more and more never satisfied right they have all their heart could wish but they they're never satisfied all right the scriptures say there is no peace to the wicked. And they, they love violence. They love bloodshed, man. All right. The scriptures say he's the violent man. All right. There's a spirit of Cain is on him. All right. Now, I'll end it with this verse six. It says, for the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity. All right. Iniquity is uh, sin upon sin. 
to practice hypocrisy. Right. Practice hypocrisy. All right. Now, you had the I, I don't I, Benjamin Netanyahu. I'm, I'm not sure if he's the he. I know he's the leader of, of Israel, but I don't know exactly what his title. I think it's prime minister. But um, this dude had said he had called Assad and the, you know their 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 Syrian power structure evil. You know, the nerve of that man to say such a statement, you know, knowing all their bloody history, you know, and, and their claim to that land. Okay. It shows you that the nation of Edom is a very proud race of people. All right. Proud and wickedness, man. All right. It says to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to make empty the soul of the hungry and will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Yeah, this man wanna this man wanna uh orchestrate a famine here in America. This man wants utter chaos in America just to implement his agenda. Just to have justification to collapse the dollar <coughs> and bring forth the what they call the fourth industrial revolution or <coughs> you know Basically, bring that image to life that's mentioned in the book of Revelation 13 chapter, the, the image of the beast, man. Which is their ideologies, man. Okay? The, their, their, uh, their, ideal, their, their ideal societal structure, which is nothing but that of an, an adversary, man. Adversary to who? The Lord, man. Because... The, the the way they want to set up a society is totally adverse to the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? But, um, you know, the point was made, man. Um, well, willingness, less was at a fine. All right? Until next time, Shalom.